Hey guys, you want to come in? Got a, another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges and welcome back to the channel, guys. Once again, thank you very much for coming by. But all right, let's take a look. We have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Kalamadunum. Town Center for that is back up over here. So this is, in fact, an inner keep center, uh, e town center, in keep town center. There's that way, there's that way, then there's this way, then there's this way, but. There's also this way to come around and bypass that whole center, that whole second level. Uh, but obviously, you only have one minor choke point to try and get through there. Let's get into the armies. First, we will take a look at the attackers. We have a Massilia here being commanded by Spawn. And from what we can see, he has five Thorax swords, when one Massilian Thoreo spear, and a giant ballista. Moving on over here, we have. Oh, we got some more that just showed up here. We have two Celtic warriors there. Cool. Uh, then we have a Kush here in the center being commanded by a bunch of dashes and then 05. And he has five Kushite Slave Infantry, three Armored Shoto Warriors, one regular Shoto Warrior. General is a uh, Royal Kushite Archer, and he also has three Nubian Bowmen. Oh, more showing up here now, of course. Got some Kushite Pikes, Disciples. Ooh, Disciples. Dis four Disciples. <laughs> okay, that could be brutal. Uh, and then we have a Gete over here with a pretty interesting army. Gete being commanded by Roymat. And he has three heavy spears, two noble spears, two noble swords, Falksman, it's two, two Falksmen, uh, one mercenary axe warrior, and here's the interesting. He's got two units of the noble horsemen, four units of spear horsemen, six units of, hor of calf on attack. Uh, and then he has one regular Dacian bowman, two of the heavy bowmen, and a Thracian peltast. Getting in onto the defenders, first we will take a look over here. We actually had a wall, uh, ooh, nice tower getting taken down looks like maybe a second one maybe uh but all right we have a swaby here being commanded by dara and they have four wooden ass spears three blood sworn three round shield swordsmen two berserkers two sword masters one of those being the general one club levy four kimberly bowen then we have an arvaki being commanded by archie and he has six Qatari, five iberian swordsmen three noble fighters one of those being the general and four balearic slingers and then we have an rdi being commanded by major disaster and he has six noble hoplites, one of those being the general, four Lyrian Thoreo spears, three Illyrian marines, two hoplites, two mercenary Celtic warriors, one Illyrian spearman, and two slave slingers. So there you go. Army comps out of the way. Towers just getting up towards the wall, so it's perfect time, guys. Let's get ready for the beginning of the battle. Hopefully you enjoy. Make sure to smash that like button. Hit the buttons. Hit the buttons. Like the video. Share it. Let's go. Okay, so jumping in, we have a tower here that has taken full fire damage, and there it goes. So I think the RDR artillery still has ammo left, so once it gets knocked down, he's probably going to have some really solid targets right over here against these Kush forces. Maybe he's going to have to start moving. Uh, the rest of the armies, though, have yet to land. They're kind of just getting their towers up near the wall. So I'm not entirely sure what the game plan here is so far. I do see that the giant ballista of Massilia has gotten some... Some kills. He's got 51 kills. Uh, he did get some shots here on the front line of the Swaby forces. And he also did land a couple of shots back up over here. You can see he got some kills right there. I believe those are RDI troops. Yep. And we see more troops coming out. What do we have here? We have some of the Massilian hoplites starting to come out. Okay. Gete has not moved. Gete has not moved a single soldier. Not a single unit yet. We've got the Hippias Lancer General there for Massilia. Another unit of Massilian Hoplites. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Wait, never mind. They did land. I was just about to say, we got a long time here. But Massilia landing one of his Celtic warriors there. That's good. They're going to take out the Swaby Ballista Crew. Only got himself one kill, but he did burn down this tower. Gallic Hunters. I was waiting for them to show up because they did have their... Uh, equipment gorilla deployed. Some of the equipment was gorilla deployed up here, so I was kind of waiting to see where they were going to show up. And there they are, the three Gallic Hunters there of Massilia. The Kush archers have been very busy, and not in the way of getting kills. Like, they have a couple of kills, but they've been very busy. They came up here, they shot there, then they ran over here, then they shot there, and now they're back over here. So, little indecisiveness on the part of the Kush players so far. He's probably just looking for the best uh, best possible angles, best possible ways to get shots. Fortunately, some of these shots are hitting these towers. 
So he's not really getting the best kills. Also, if you guys are not noticing, or you've noticed right now, these are not on the ultra size units. Uh, they are using large size units, so infantry is going to be only 120. The archers will be 90, and the cavalry will be a 60 max. So, yeah. Artillery still firing? 96. Okay, he's gotten considerable more kills from the last time we saw. Wow. Bombs coming in here. So these guys are effect be yeah attacked by artillery, but I don't see them taking any losses. These guys have taken some losses. Wooden nice spear, that wooden nice spear is taking some losses. Okay, so Massilia doing a pretty good job with his artillery so far. Ninety six kills, it's not bad. Here we go, another volley coming in, and hitting more. Oh God, more of the Swaby archers. Swaby's got to move these. Kimby Bowwomen, one of the better archers in the game, definitely has to move those out of the way. Definitely has to move them out of the way. I mean, they still have a very low armor, but they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Oh, my God. I mean, they're just archers also. Don't just leave your archers standing to get shot. Come on. Got to move them out of the way. Got to move them out of the way. All right, here we go. We have some armored Shota warriors landing first for Kush. A lot of javelins being thrown right at them, and I don't blame it at all. Gonna get a response. We got Bloodsworn gonna charge in on them. Now this is actually this could go in Swaby's favor. Never mind. They're getting murdered. I was gonna say they have very low armor. But yeah, it doesn't matter. It's it's armature to warriors. It doesn't matter. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. It's just, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I think he's getting surrounded though. Oh yeah, he did get a little bit surrounded. Yeah, he did get surrounded, actually, but no, never mind, because now we got a bunch of archer fire coming in here from Kush. So he is firing up behind or keeping uh, keeping up behind with the rest of his infantry. Down to 77, 38, 39 kills. Another unit of the arm of the regular Shoto warriors here taking on some Bloodsworn. They are kind of, they were trying to, like, go past them, but wasn't going to be able to do that. Uh, Arvaki and Swaby over here holding back one lone unit of Thorax Swordsman there from Vasilia so far. At the wall, second unit now coming off the towers. We have some the Celtic Warriors here coming around. Probably going to get into the back of this Katari there. I would do that. I would absolutely do that. Go over there and kill that Katari unit. Free everything up over here. Just, it doesn't matter if you die. Get over here, get a rear charge, kill these guys off. Because that will open up this whole area for the attackers to start moving forward. Never mind, he got charged. Did not move fast enough. Okay. Uh, Shoto Warriors getting taken out. 48 kills down to 20 men. Armored Shoto Warriors. Oh, that was a big volley. What was that? Kimber Bow women firing in there. Armored Shoto Warriors, 56 kills. Getting absolutely decimated down to 46. This Armored Shoto Warrior, 19, 119 for those two units. Okay. Or 90. 90 and 119. Arvaki is going to fall back just a little bit. Now we have the bow women here. The heavy bowmen, sorry. Daisy and heavy bowmen firing up into the settlement. That's why Arvaki is pulling that other unit away. It did take considerable losses. This unit here, 76 men. Still staying up on the front line to help fight against this armored Shota warrior unit. Who are actually losing. Oh, decapitation. Shoto Warriors getting at the shield wall now. Still dealing with the Skitari, but it does look like the Armored Shoto Warriors are going to start turning it around. Yeah, they are winning decisively now. They still have the Archer Tower here firing over into that unit, but it doesn't look like it's doing as much damage as needed. But oh boy, we got two Armored Shoto Warriors here open and ready to go, and the attackers have a foothold in the settlement now. They have this front area right here. If they're able to capture this tower, that would definitely help them out. I would recommend the defenders start burning this tower down. Uh, but it does not look like that's going to be something that's going to be achieved, unfortunately. I mean, this Iberian Swordsman unit could come over here and start burning this tower. While the rest of these units here just keep everything entertained. Burn this tower down because it just it, it will help you. It'll help decrease the amount of losses that you take this far forward in the settlement. I mean, you've already lost this front area, so there's no point in letting them keep that tower. Personally, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people do it. I have definitely employed that strategy as well before.
More archer fire pouring into the settlement. Let's see what we got going on over here. So the attackers have one over here as well. Got the Illyrian Spearmen, some more Thoreo Spears there, Illyrian Thoreo Spears. Getting into their square formation. Give them a little bit higher on the melee defense side. A little bit higher on the morale, or is that chevrons? No, a little bit higher on the morale as well. I didn't know that. Really? I didn't know that. Square formation? Yeah, okay. Bracing, morale, melee defense. I knew the bracing and the melee defense. I did not remember it doing anything for morale. Interesting. That is pretty interesting, though, for sure. All right, let's see what we got. Gete has moved all the way over here with his infantry. So all this cavalry. I mean, if they can get inside, that could be pretty devastating. But this is not the biggest of settlements. It's a lot of tight roads that can be blocked pretty easily by like one unit, two units, especially with an RDI on the battlefield. That's... I mean, get. I mean, uh, Swaby can bring... The wooden ass spears, they have some pretty solid spear infantry as well. But RDI, they're kind of known as a hoplite faction. So, we'll see. We'll see. That cav is, I mean, he could do work. He could definitely do work. But here we go. Skete has landed. Coming on in here with some of the noble spears. Two units of noble spears making their way towards the gate. They're going to start neutralizing that up. Have a lot of Iberian swordsmen here. Three, four units of Iberian swordsmen. Iberian Swords are going to charge in. Oh, they're going to get a rear attack. That unit of Noble Spears was not ready. They were not ready. Got more coming in? No? Oh, we had another unit move forward. A lot of archers moving. Yeah, I was going to say, Kimberly Bowman might want to run away from that. These are Noble Swords. This is where the Noble Swords are coming in. All right, Avaki coming around. Looks like he's going to come over and assist over on this side. So far, we're doing pretty good over here. We got both. Actually, both of the Berserkers are up in the fight. This center is looking a little weak. Wooden Ice Spears there, though. If they move those Wooden Ice Spears up, they would be able to hold for a very long time. Or a pretty long time, I should say, especially if they can get them into that shield screen. That'll help. That will definitely help. Uh, RDI over here. Square formations holding up the Thorax Swordsman so far of Massilia. But over here is where I'm kind of really interested. And okay, here we go. Noble Swords have charged in onto an Iberian Swordsman unit. This is a Skitari there, but they've taken some damage. They've already been involved in the fight. Gete looks like he's just going to try and get his infantry inside. I mean, obviously, it's a really good idea. Archers are firing away. These are definitely where they want to fire, though. They want to shoot at these Kimber Bow women. Don't let them start going. Do not let them start to go. All right, Gete bouncing off. Oh, we got Kush coming around over here as well, too. Nice. That was a slick little move right there. Slick, slick move. All right, so what I would recommend here is I would have that spear unit keep going in that direction, bring this noble spear around this way, or actually have the noble spear go this way. And have the regular spear infantry come around to try and break through that Iberian swordsman. Just free up less kills for that noble sword to take. Uh, this noble sword here probably start pressing in that direction just to give some pressure. But right, Berserkers is still working over here. Wow. 97, 130. Keep going, Berserkers. Jeez. Putting the kills. Oh, God. But the, yep, Kushite Slave Infantry. Oh, no, that wasn't the Kushite Slave Infantry. That was the wooden as Spears actually throwing into their own men. Oh, God, the sacrifice. The sacrifice is real from Swaby. I mean, now the Kushite Slave Infantry is thrown, but the Javelins were coming from that direction. Oh, my God. Okay, that was the Kush Slave Infantry. All right, they got some good kills. But, yeah, that was kind of crazy to see Swaby throwing their own javelins into their guys. That's crazy. All right, so back over here. RDI still holding up Massilia for the moment. We got artillery firing? Yeah. Oh, the second RDI. Oh, he brought two artillery pieces. And he's actually using them. Oh, that's sad. That is a little sad. I mean, this one didn't really get any kills. He did burn down a tower, though. 
So technically he did use it, but yeah, he's firing. He's firing over here. He's going to get some shots into these Massillian hoplites now. That's a little, uh, meh. That's a little, meh. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, over here, Arvaki seems to be having a little bit of an issue with Gete to this point because Gete now has an open lane. He's got an open lane there with Gete having to throw, I mean, with Arvaki having to send more infantry. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought that unit was more damaged than it was. The banner over there threw me off. That slinger fire. Oh, no, Arvaki's actually winning this. He's got two units of his Balearics getting some fantastic shots into the back of these noble swords. They're getting destroyed. They're getting too destroyed, but we do have the Dacian Bowman here firing in, getting some shots into the noble fighters. But yet, yeah, noble swords not going to live. Not going to live. Okay, so I initially read that wrong. I have no problem admitting that. I read that wrong. Noble fighters holding the line. They will be able to win the fight against the noble swords with the help of the Balearic Slingers, but the noble swords were also getting help from the Dacian Bowman there. Still more shots coming in. Noble Fighter down to 79, 78 men. So Arvaki at the point, hemming Gete in over here. Not doing a terrible do job, but they have... Uh-oh. Gete has control of the gatehouse, and here comes the cavalry. Oh, boy. Ooh, this could be bad. Yeah, you see Arvaki in the center there pulling away. He's like, nope. I don't want it. I don't want... Oh, no. Bowman. Oh, there's a Falksman. And Heavy Spears. Okay, I see the Bowman banner. Oh, that's Peltast. Ah, they can fight in melee. That's fine. This Cav needs to keep going. Keep going. There's a gap right there. Go right there. Or even more so. Go right there now. Skatari still in the way. Oh, no, the 74 Skatari still in the way. Saw the banner move. I mean, he... Is there really, no, there's really nowhere for them to go. No, they could go right here. They could come right here. But defenders on a retreat here now. We have a Kushite slave infantry catching out a unit of the noble fighters there. Noble fighters are like, sure, I'll turn around and fight that. I'll definitely fight you. Nubian Bowman making their way around. So Arvaki was doing a pretty good job holding the front, but unfortunately he has to, he has had to pull back. Uh, Massilia over here is pretty much won against RDI. Swaby has pulled back. Swaby's, oh wow, Swaby's like gone. Swaby is pretty much gone. I see his general and the other swordmaster. Three units of Bowman. I don't think, uh, wait, there, no, there's a wooden spear right there. But unfortunately, they're surrounded. They're not really being attacked, but they're surrounded. But yeah, Swaby is gone. Swaby is gone. So this is uh, this is turning to be a little bit... Still in balance of the attackers, though. I mean, balance of the defenders. At the moment. How many of these armored Shoto warriors are still around? One. One armored Shoto warrior. Wow. But we still have the disciples. I think he should still have all four of his disciples back here. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, he's still got all four of the disciples. They are, they can be extremely nasty. Charge. They need to be cycle charged. For sure need to be cycle charged. 60 charge bonus, guys. Disciples of a Peter Mac, 60 charge bonus. One of the highest for melee infantry in the game. Definitely destructive. 60 melee attack. They're gross. And they have headhunt and they have frenzy. These guys can do a lot of damage. The downside to them is they only have 20, uh, six, 25 armor. Yeah, 25 armor. But they can do a lot. They have scare. They are very, very, very destructive. They're also pretty expensive. They're also pretty expensive. No! All right, looks like we got some Balearics. We're going to start firing over here. Firing down, chasing away some Dacian Bowmen. Those shouldn't be heavies. Those look like Dacian. Yeah, those are just a Dacian Bowman. Thracian Peltas falling back. All right, so the attacker's still just pressing forward here. RDI still firing with his second artillery piece. 43 kills so far. That's got to be annoying. That's got to be a little annoying to deal with. Attacker's capturing up this gate. Okay. Oh, we got some one lone unit of Thorax Swordsman here. 248 kills making their way over here. 
I mean, they're just going to get shot by the arrow tower. It's free ammo for the defenders right there. Free ammo for the defenders. All right, Gete's going to start shuffling around over here. We got Cav making their way in this direction. Three of the spear horsemen have come over here. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a thinking time. Thorax swords and breaking. Yeah, I kind of figured they were going to. Liri Noble Hoplites, we're going to charge out to get some kills, I guess. Still firing way over here. Unfortunately, off the mark on that one. He's hopefully almost out of ammo. Nope, he's firing again. Let's see. No, off the mark. Ooh, that was close, though. Those heavy spears were there just a couple seconds earlier. All right, so we're going to fast forward here. Till we get, uh, till we get something going. I guess we could just keep watching. Get uh, RDI fires artillery here. Another shot. Didn't even see where it landed. Oh, it's hitting buildings. That's it. Is he out? Looks like he's out. Yeah, he's out. Okay. All right. So no more ammo. For the artillery pieces here. We get like the big fast forward going. Not really. That kind of messes with it. But alright, hold on. Massilia is starting to move up. So we might not have to fast forward for very much longer here. Kush still has a pretty sizable force. Gete still has a pretty sizable force. And Massilia there. They all have pretty good forces left. Uh Swaby is really damaged though. Oh, is RDI pulling away? Oh, really? Why? Why wouldn't you just fight down here? Oh. Uh, all right, well, we're going to have choke point fight. Hopefully the hopefully the attackers left enough uh, ammo. Hopefully they have enough ammunition for this. Hopefully they do. What do we have? Illyrian noble hoplites here? Yep. Noble hoplites can be holding the holding the breach there, holding the mouth, holding holding the road. The choke point area, I guess. Uh, nothing coming over here yet for the attackers, where we have two more units of the Illyrian Noble Hoplites making their way over here. Alright, so, uh, unfortunately I'm gonna make a little cut here, I think, till we get to the fighting again, because it looks like the attackers are still just maneuvering around and trying to find somewhere to attack. So, I will be back here in just a couple of seconds. Alright, so here we are, just a couple of minutes. Just a couple of minutes until the attackers got their infantry over here. Uh, they're starting to use their javelins here to start trying to break down the Silurian front line. Not a terrible idea. I would recommend that they get a little bit closer, though. So they're not as far back throwing that far. Personally, I would recommend getting them a little bit closer. Just basically just put the first line right there. Throw them. Have them go back. Bring up the other ones. Any peltas or anything. But they are starting to whittle down on the Illyrian Noble Hoplite unit here. Second unit over here is down 9. This one's down 11. Oh, wait. Nope. Massilia's going to move in. Massilian Hoplites moving forward. Into the Noble Hoplites. I mean, Massilian Hoplites are okay, but... If it was the Noble Hoplites for Massilia? Or whatever they're... Oh, no. That's Chimerian. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Massilian Noble Hoplites. I mean, uh, Massilian Hoplites, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they're going to fare very well. We have the slingers of Arvaki up on the wall here now, firing down, getting shots. Oh, they took out a Gallic. Did they? They did. They took out one whole Gallic unit already there. He's got to get those other two out of the way. Kush is going to have to move his archers as well. I mean, this is another avenue. They could try and come over in this way, but they probably correctly assume that RDI is just going to post up. It's definitely going to be a tough fight. They could try and use the Disciples to charge in there as well. Cycle charge on the Noble Hoplites. Possibly. More Javelins coming. Thracian Peltast. 20 kills so far. Got some Falksman here. Again, that's another nice cycle unit. 48 charge bonus. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Close range. Nice. More kills on those Noble Hoplites there. Still got another unit of Noble Hoplites right there, though, to reinforce. Ooh, Gete's bows. Gete's archers starting to lose here. 
Got the Kushite Pikes making their way over. Maybe they're going to try to use the Pikes against the uh, Noble Hoplites, who are losing now. Actually, this Noble Hoplite is losing decisively. There you go. Good, good, good. Good, good murder sticks right there. Definitely good volleys of the murder sticks for sure. Kushite Pikes getting over here. Are they going to bring up both units? Looks like they are. Okay, Pikes are trying to get into position. Sicilian Hoplites look like they're going to try and back up. I would recommend these Pikes start pressing right now, though. They're not very good, but start pressing with them. Uh-oh. This unit's not lined up right. There it goes. Okay, now it's getting lined up. This could be a good counteraction against the Illyrian Noble Hoplites. Slinger's still just hammering down. 123 kills for them, destroying these attacking range units. Disciples starting to move up. That's big. Oh, that's Kushite Slave Infantry. Where are the Disciples? Still back over here. Okay, what do we still have over here? Regular Hoplites. Hmm. Okay. Noble Breaking. I think we already had one noble break, or did he just pull back? Oh, he just moved back. Okay. Pikes need to keep pressing, though. He's got to keep pressing. Get something here to start attacking that uh, Illyrian Noble Hoplite. Falksman charging in. Going through the pikes. A little bit of a little bit of a pike stack right there. Yeah, melee. This one's not in melee. That one's not in melee. This one is though. Falksman wait, what the heck? How did they get okay, well they got around. I don't even see Oh, maybe like there. They got through here, maybe? I don't know. They got around though. Getting into the Blerics. 234 kills for the Blerics Slingers. Not terrible. Folksman, though, they definitely lost a lot of men trying to come through there. Second Pike unit has moved forward. It's not really a good idea for them, though. It would have been better for them to be facing that way. Oh, now they're just going to start moving forward. Or are they just reforming? They're just reforming, but they're about to get... Yep. They're getting flanked. They're getting flanked. This Katara unit could probably cause a lot of damage as well if it charged in there onto that Kushite Pike, but he's losing. Yeah, that Pike unit's losing. This one here still fighting. 36 kills for that one. Only 8 for this unit. Yeah, they're done. This Pike, I believe, is going to just break out right. Very, very soon. They just got, they just got charged from the flank by a Noble Hoplite. Here comes the disciple. Uh, sorry, no, those are the disciples. That's just regular Kush slave infantry coming up. Yep. But I would say it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe get some of those disciples. Just one, one or two disciples up here as well. Start trying to cause some damage. Could also swing back around. You can try and come back over here. This is another avenue. Kush starting to swing his archers back. We have the Gallic Hunters here. Two units of Gallic Hunters. Looks like they have a target. They have hit their quick reload. Let's see. There we go. Firing across. Shots into the back of the Skitari. Okay, not a bad thing. Try and dwindle that down a little bit. We have the Massilian Hoplites have moved forward yet again. Kush Pikes both broken. Unfortunately for the Kush Pikes, they, Kush Pikes... They are both broken here. 36 and 16 kills total for them. Get running. I mean, they could definitely break through this. The attackers could break through this and then come this way. They just need to set something up to block that. Comes the Kimberly Bow women. They're making their way forward. There's another Illyrian Marine right there. Archer's still firing away again. Here we go. Getting more shots. I believe Arvaki pulled that unit out. 
I think that was that unit that was getting shot in the back. So now they're firing at the... Oh, the Kimby Bow women are out. Oh, okay. Don't even worry about them now. Fire, just fire at the front line. Just fire at the front line. Need another unit of infantry here for the attackers. Something there. Something to keep pressing in there. Cav is mobilizing. We have some infantry starting to come around over on this side now. What do we have? Illyrian, Marie, uh, Illyrian 3 0 Spears and Illyrian Marines. Also, a unit, another unit of the Illyrian Noble Hoplites, the general there. Gallic Hunter's doing some work. They are doing some work, but this isn't really something you need to shoot. See, this right here, this is where I'm saying, like, one of the attacking cavalry could get through here. A couple units of the attacking cav could get through here. There is a gap, there is an opening. Mercenary Axe Warriors coming up now for Gete. Did not really get a charge off, though. They were just kind of walking up the hills there. Mercenary Thoreos coming across. 27 kills total for them. I mean, this is a slog fest. This is definitely a slog fest. Lyrian Noble Hoplites holding choke points. It's going to be very tough. Very, very tough. I didn't think that they were going to be around very long to slave infantry. They did some work, though. They definitely did some work. Uh, Kush Archer's now shifting down. Really sure, maybe they're just going to try and pile on and just fire away. Back up over here, Massilia trying to come around on this side. Trying to come up this hill here. Three, four, and one. So Illyrian Thoreo's going to toss, start tossing there. The... Uh, Massilian Marines are going to fire back. Massilian Toreos. Oh, the general's dead? Wh oh, he must have gotten shot. That sucks. He either got shot or he charged in. Did he try and charge in over here? I don't see any other cav. I don't know where the general died, but he died. That sucks. Oh, I see horses here. That's Massilian Cavalry right there. So he got shot over here. That sucks. Look at all this Cav just blobbed up. Just standing there waiting, 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 waiting. Disciples. I mean, these Disciples could be doing something. They could be in here. They could be, wreck honestly, wrecking house right now. Well, the Renewable Hoplites have a lot, of, a lot of armor. 115 armor. They'd probably be doing a lot better than the Massilian troops that are in here. Disciples need to move. Disciples need to move forward. You'll be in Bowman, 102, 118. Royal Archer General there with 97 kills. I mean, they're still, they're still dropping the front line here for the defenders, which is good. RDI still has his other noble, uh, his other hoplites there. Swaby is just waiting. I mean, he's all, like I said, he's only got two units, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, okay, so the advance happened down here. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Oh, Massilian, I would charge in right there. They have a 30 charge bonus. Uh, the other thing that they could have done, Massilia could have done, is just shifted that unit across and moved the Peltast up a little bit further to get some close range shots. It looks like they are pretty much out. We have a couple that are still in there. Nope, never mind. They're out. Cillian Thoreo Spears breaking down. Noble Hoplite's falling back. Marine's going to stay in for the fight. Going to get into their square formation and hold. All right, front line looks like it's finally starting to present a pretty good gap here. Here comes Disciples. Two units of the Disciples making their way forward. Cav Forgette still just all blobbed up back there not attempt not attempting for any charges 
<clears throat> not attempting for any gaps or anything for Gete. Right, Masili and Thereo Spears, they got a good charge off, but I mean, they charged into Skatari. Skatari are pretty solid. Tree moving up. That's a disciple. Charge the disciple in. Get this noble spear out of the way and let this disciple get its charge off. Everything from here for Gete needs to get out of the way. All of that right there needs to get out of the way and let these disciples charge in. Now they're just blobbing the area. That is that is not that's not gonna get it done. It's not going to get it done. The disciples need to start going. They got to charge them in. Can't just stand them there. Here we go. Okay, disciples getting in there now. Vasilia is still trying to help out. Disciples of a Peter Mac are like a shock infantry. Like, let them get in there, do their damage, and pull them back out. He missed out on the frenzy charge. Should have hit the frenzy charge with them just to get the extra charge bonus. Probably should hit the headhunt. It would definitely help break things faster and then pull them back out, let them rest. And that's when the rest of your allies' infantry goes in. Yeah, they're not doing as well as they could have been doing. Masilia give up over here. Oh, he didn't really have a choice. Yeah, he had to give up over there. He had to give up over there. There wasn't really very much that he had. He still got a lot of troops over here. And now RDI is going to come down. Lyrian Marines, two noble hoplites, slingers. Slinger says that they're firing. Okay, RDI is going to go back. He doesn't want to get hit by the archer towers. Smart move. Smart move there. Back over on this side, though. Disciples still in the fight. Winning decisively. Combat is even. Where's the other Disciples? Way back here. Oh, God. Got some calves slowly moving forward. Not really sure what they're planning on doing. I think he's just going to try and charge this line. Maybe. Oh, looks like that's what he's doing. Yep, Gete's going to charge this noble horse right into this line. He's got a Illyrian Thoreo spear right there in square formation. And here they come. Here comes the Cav. Charging in to a square formation. He's not going anywhere. Not going to get through. It's too, it's too congested. It's way too congested. Now we just got more. Oh, that's the same. It's Illyrian hoplite. Illyrian marine. Shifting over, watching that gap. And now they're just going to slowly press in. This disciple's going to die. We're getting some pressure over here, though. Some of the Arvaki units starting to break down. Cav's going to pull away. Wow, we lost eight. We lost eight Cav in there. Now he's going to charge in on this side. Probably going to have the same... Same uh, result. Yeah, not very many kills. We just had a general die. Kush general died. Yep, Kush general died. Arvaki killed him. Disciples now coming around over here by themselves. Uh, that is not that is not a recommendation to do with Disciples of Epitomac. And Gete, unfortunately, this is all Gete has left. He's got Cav. That's all he has left here. That was a lot of cavalry for attack. A lot. Six units of Cav. Gete is a pretty solid faction. Probably would have been better off getting some of the noble sword, more noble swords. You only had two noble swords. Maybe some more of the axe warriors as well. They're pretty good. But this does not look like it's going to progress very much further from this point. Yeah, 
Rivaki's going to charge in again. Noble Fighters, Katare still just doing work. Yeah, the Disciples, they're just going to get shot. The Slinger's going to gonna, probably going to have a field day with it. They don't have a lot of armor. Peltas coming back over here again. Plus, they're all just stacked. They're all just blobbed up together. I think they're... I think the attackers are just trying to get this fight over with. I think they're just sending them in just to try and get it over with. Except for Gete. Gete's just holding all of his stuff back here. Couldn't they? Is there still an opportunity? The Disciples, 102 kills to that unit. This unit here, 88. I mean, they're still kind of strong. 69 giggity, 67 there. Those two Disciples are still pretty strong. Swordmasters have moved over. Now we got the Noble Fighters just tossing javelins, tossing murder sticks into that Disciple unit. Swordmasters now joining the fight. Just putting the exclamation on it. Now we got more cat. Oh, Gete's just going to bum rush. Oh, God. Gete just control A charged. That's all he just did right there. Control A charge. They're not going very far. Yeah. Is that Swaby General? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's see what's going on back over here. Uh, actually, Kush. Keep going. Get that other disciple up there. Maybe. Maybe. That second disciple gets up here and they can cycle him out. A general with refresh would be good over there, though, but I don't think the Gete general... Yeah, he's dead. Oh, the Gete general didn't even bring an ability. Forgot to click in his ability. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Just massive block. Look at how fast the screen slows down when I go over there. Watch. Ugh, it just slows down. <laughs> Such a huge blob of troops over here. They're not going to get much further. Oh, there's another Noble Fighter joining. Pretty much full Noble Fighter joining in there. I mean, these are still solid Disciples. But unfortunately, neither one of them used... At least I didn't see them use their Frenzy Charge. Or Frenzy, not Frenzy Charge. I keep falling Frenzy Charge. But that's when you would pop Frenzy. Pop Frenzy when you're charging in. You get that extra charge bonus, extra charge damage. Or not charge bonus. Charge damage, weapon damage. You know what I mean. Frenzy charge. Frenzy use while you're charging it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like either one of them used it. Headhunt. One of them's using headhunt. Two minutes, 15 seconds left. This does not look like it's going to progress any further than it has to this point. Uh, they actually brought... <laughs> Arvaki brought another unit of his Katari over here. Small unit. Has RDI felt the need to pull pull a hoplite back? Are they losing? They're, they're nowhere they're nowhere close to losing over here. Nowhere close. With this Missilian troop breaking now, they're gonna break. 48 against 56. The Marines, I mean if he charged in there with the Marines, he could probably break them. Front is still holding very, very well. I mean, it's not a lot of units for the defenders here, but they have strong units here. Minute 22. Just going to fast forward a little bit here. I don't, I don't see anything breaking through here. I don't see anything coming through on this side. This is, yep, the Iraqi general is going to charge in. You got the Swaby general right on that side. Nothing's coming through. And over here, pretty much the same. 
Ooh, that is a shame. Disciples of Piedmac, they are very, very, very destructive units. And I want to say if maybe they were used better than what they were used for, they might have had a lot more of an opportunity of breaking through things. But look at all it just yeah, mass wrap. There you go. It's over. Seven seconds left. Fight is over. Costly victory. Let's take a look here. Uh, we're going to take a look first at Archie Productions. He was the one that sent the replay over. So thank you very much, bud. 2,000 to 203 kills for him. 37 with his generals. Other noble fighters, 172, 145. Skatari coming in, 169, 201, 104, 171, 150. So pretty good usage there. Uh, Iberian Swordsman did not get very many kills. Slingers, though, 308, 135, 196, 188. Very good job with the Slingers. Then we have Major Disaster here playing as RDI, 1417. Uh, the Hoplite Faction, 69, Giggity with his general. Range didn't really do very much. Uh, Zalurian Marines, 117, 110, 144. Noble Hoplites, 164, 140, 149. And the rest of his army didn't really do very much either. Then we have Dara here with Swaby, 1058, 1,058 kills. That was rough. Uh, 73 with the general. Kimby Bowwomen did not do very well. Round Shield Swordsman, top was an 89. Wooden as spears. I'm actually really shocked that the nobles that the wooden as spears didn't do better than what they did. Uh, Berserkers 140 here with a 98. Even his Bloodsworn didn't do very well. That's kind of shocking. Uh, getting in onto the other side, we have Roy Matt here playing as Gete 1,070 kills. Cav was pretty much useless. Unfortunately, pretty much useless here. Uh, Dacian and Heavy Bowman 124, 123. Axe Warriors 55. Even his Noble Swords 76, 41. That's rough. Noble Spears, 140, 141. I'm sorry, 144. And we have a bunch of dashes, 05, playing as Kush, 16, 25. Most kills. Oh, sorry. Not the most kills. Okay. Uh, 105 with the General. Nubian Bowman, 106, 104, 118. Armored Chotel Warriors, 133, 218, 138. They did good. Those three units did good. Pikes, unfortunately, did not. Two of the Disciples, over 100 kills. The other two did not. And the rest of his Kushite Slave Infantry here, unfortunately, did not get very many kills all there also. And then we have Spawn here playing as Missilia with the most kills for the attackers and the second most kills in the game. Uh, let's see. We got some Thorax here. 123, 248, 159. Pretty solid. Missilian Hoplites, 101, 133. Missilian Thoreo Spears, unfortunately, didn't get a whole lot, though. Looked like probably the majority of those are javelin kills. Uh, his archers, 125, 100, and his ballista, there are 186 kills. So his ballista had like the third most kills, second most kills for his whole army. Oof, that's rough. That is rough. But all right, guys, there you go. Lessons learned, hopefully. Don't take that much cav on attack. Don't take that much cav on attack. Uh, but that's going to be the end, guys. So thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one, make sure to like the video.